There's two here. Let me see if I can grab this one and pull it up. And he closed the shell right away. There's foot. Well, his foot was just out a little bit. They are called the canaries in the creek. Wildlife experts say the number of freshwater mussels living in rivers, streams, and ponds is on the decline. The cause? Problems in water quality affecting their habitat. They are also impacted by a drop in migratory fish that carry the mussel larvae into rivers and streams. If anything in a river hurts the fish, um, it also tends to short circuit the life cycle of freshwater mussels. They're also extremely old. Freshwater mussels are like old growth sparse in the rivers. They live to be 80 to 100 years old. They don't reproduce until they're 10 or 12 years old. So if something happens to the fish that allows them to reproduce, if something happens to the water quality because they're filter feeders and very sensitive to water quality, then you basically can take out the mussels and they don't respond, they don't rebound quickly because of that complicated life cycle. And then look at, look how the, these are scars, you know, basically it's been tossed around by <laughs> storm surge after storm surge and it chips away the outer layer. Um, I, there's some, some of these species they believe live to be about a century uh, and that's, that's outrageous, uh, especially given the conditions here. Freshwater mussels may be the most imperiled creatures. Danielle Krieger says 75% of the 300 species are either listed as endangered or threatened. Because the Delaware River is undammed and free-flowing, migratory fish are able to travel unimpeded and keep the mussel population going in this waterway. One species of concern that calls the Delaware home is the dwarf wedge mussel. It's on the federal endangered species list. So what the dwarf wedge mussel also does for us um, and unfortunately so far has done for us sort of in a, in a very um, clear way because of the, the diminishing populations that we have is show us when we've got pollution problems and flow problems in the Delaware River. So we are, we are on the cusp of losing the dwarf wedge mussel population from the upper reaches of the Delaware River. But many are worried that these animals could be threatened even further if natural gas extraction, called fracking, is permitted in the Delaware River watershed. The concern is that runoff or contaminated water from the drilling sites could reach streams. Mussels and invertebrates that live in the small tributaries that feed the Delaware could be vulnerable to the increase in sediments, changes in the salinity of the water, and other contaminants. That in and of itself right, wrong, or otherwise, raises its profile and raises the importance of protecting it so we don't lose this critical species from the aquatic ecosystems of the river. Environmentalists say regulations don't go far enough to protect streams from polluted runoff from natural gas drilling sites. There is also concern that the fracking process uses millions of gallons of water for each well, putting a drain on the supply for 15 million people in four states. Environmentalists are also worried that wildlife living above the streams could also be at risk. That's the call of a cerulean warbler, a small songbird that spends time in the forest of the northeast part of the country during the spring and summer. The plight of the ceruleans played a role in the Jonathan Franzen novel Freedom. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has noticed a severe drop in their population Cerulean warblers need large tracts of forests near streams and rivers. The projected activity for the wells with the pipelines, the roads, and the well pads themselves um, you know, looks to be a very substantial decrease in forest cover and an increase in the fragmentation of our forests. So we have asked the state of Pennsylvania and our other partners with the federal government to look at forests. And just and to look at the collective, the collective effect of many wells. So it's a complicated puzzle. If if one of these um, changes introduced to the waterway affects any of the pieces, it it tugs on everything else.